In Broad Inlet, a team of biologists are gathering seafloor sediment samples for Metro Vancouver's Marine Monitoring Program in relation to the Lionsgate and Iona wastewater treatment plants. They're using a special grabbing device called a Van Veen Sampler. So we have the Van Veen sampler. It goes through the water and it'll collect the sediment off the bottom and they bring it back up and they'll put them into totes and, and then we have the, the washers washing the samples. Some of the samples are sent for lab testing and others are carefully sifted through on the boat taking reference of the number and diversity of organisms in each sample. There's all sorts of different groups of animals that, that live in the sediments, from, from worms or annelids to, to bivalves or things like clams. And these are not what you find on the beach. We're actually looking at something that is often smaller than your pinky fingernails. And so that's why it's very challenging in the field to pick through uh, all that sediment and get those animals out and separate it from the debris that, that you find. Metro Vancouver also captures water samples in a set of metal tubes that are connected to sensors able to read the physical conditions of the water, like salinity, chemistry, and temperature. And that is then lowered to the depth that we want. We have a trigger, a way of triggering that from the surface and separate it into the sample bottles that we submit for analysis, whether that be for nutrients or metals or some select organic parameters. Metro Vancouver is also developing three-dimensional hydrodynamic models to better understand the characteristics of outflow from its wastewater facilities. Modeling is a very important tool in the type of work that we do. For example, with hydrodynamic modeling, it allows us to understand where the water's moving and how it's moving and how the different temperature or densities might affect the way that the water moves and how our discharges may move within the Burrard Inlet basins. Staff at Metro Vancouver have developed models for the Lower Fraser River and are now working on one for Burrard Inlet. Our ultimate goal is to protect the environment and the human health. So uh, with this kind of a model, people are better informed in terms of uh, you know, public awareness and uh, safety in terms of swimming on the beach and all those kind of activity. For us, I mean, also inform the management decisions in terms of our infrastructure upgrade and the maintenance and, um, and the operation. The data is broken down into meshes, somewhat like pixels on a TV. The Lower Fraser River model has 30,000 meshes in horizontal and 45 vertical and can predict outcomes with great accuracy, but its success relies on field data. So the model has to work hand in hand with uh, the field measurement. As a matter of fact, the model is calibrated and validated by the field measurement. But the model can help the field measurement to make it more efficient, cost efficient. Metro Vancouver is required to do marine monitoring and report its findings. It is continually fine-tuning and updating its testing technology. We want to make sure that we're doing the best that we can possibly do. We're always working to, to improve our methodology and, and learn new things. And as new techniques become available from the research uh, community, we try to adopt those in our, in our applied um, monitoring programs.